I did construction for about five years on and off. And so all this reclaimed wood, I started making pieces out of that. And the way I see it is there's two worlds. So if you see all these like brighter neon colors, geometric shapes, that would be one, that would probably be your internal world. It's kind of a study. I didn't go to school or anything for art. I did some random art history stuff and, but I don't know art. So it's a good opportunity to uh, get me inspired and in just looking at artists. Yeah, Dali. I'm probably keeping this one around for a little while. I just like him. Huh? So yeah, if, when I first moved in, I asked Walter if I could do it, if I could make a rock ball. I've seen uh, Andy Goldsworthy make them, and he was—he's always—he's been an inspiration since 2011-ish. I would go around and match the grain up to make landscapes. So in my eyes, this is a mountain, and then the sky, and then the cloud. I remember hanging a piece on the wall, and it was of Main Street Station on a gallery one night, and three girls came up that were in art school at VCU, and they were just like blown away. They, I, I forget exactly what they said, but something like they're stuck in the classroom drawing tomatoes for eight hours a day or something like that. <laughs> But yeah, formal training, unknown. I'd say pick, pick something simple and just develop it. How could it not get better? <laughs> <laughs>